morning, everybody! <laughs> Say morning, Rosie. Say hi. <laughs> <laughs> well, today is Dino Day. Um, we're going to go down to see Simon at SciTech Racing and uh, we're going to stick the white RX-7 on the Dino and uh, I'll sort of do some tuning. Uh, the reason for it is because I'm actually, believe it or not, trying to limit it below 500 horse. Uh, because recent pulls and stuff like on the road, my arse dino is telling me it's going to be approaching sort of 400 ish and I haven't even really got any boost, boost in it yet. So, um, yeah, so basically, I'm going to go there and see, uh, see if it's performing. And I've got to remember as well, it's on a stock clutch, it's not even had clutch change, so. Uh, it's been good that it's held up so far, but I fear today, today will be the death of the clutch. But anyway guys, I'll keep you updated. So, just go to the garage. Sounds relatively quiet with its new exhaust actually. Here at SciTech Racing, Ford's all about. Uh, Hi guys. And this is Sai Simon at SciTech Racing. Hello. <laughs> he's the genius behind all these uh, Fords. Uh, this one he's just taken off just now. It's a hybrid turbo. Uh, it's run on Cyvex with Specar. New Specar into cooler. <laughs> very very good for cooling, but crap for radiator flow. Yeah. Doesn't pump much air through. No. But it's good good for power. Definitely. And uh, this thing just laid down 520 horse, 400 plus new meters of torque, which is savage. Foot pounds, foot pounds, we don't do new meters, but yeah. <laughs> so, um, yeah, it's, uh, that thing will be an absolute beast to drive. And you can see the Rex is just hiding up over there, hiding away, scared of all these Fords. And uh, yeah, we'll put the RX7 in next, and then we're gonna. Lay it on, I'll probably put some load on it. Uh, mid sections, limited to mile an hour so I can do all the base and then uh, I'll maybe do a couple of power runs. But again, it depends on clutch and depends on how this intercooler holds up. So. Oh, that's it. <laughs> Sounds lovely. 
Right guys, I've not strapped her down yet, but what I'm doing is I'm just going over my map looking over bits and bobs. Um, what I'll actually do, I'm on Adaptronic, but I'll actually show you um, sometime exactly how to set up an Adaptronic if there's enough interest. Um, basically just going to go over it all, uh, make sure everything's happy just now. And uh, I'll probably do a couple of wastegate runs and then I'll start adding in some boosts just now. I'm just running this DC target map, basically just putting in 25% um, which takes me around about 13 PSI. Um, so, uh, and I'll see what sort of power she's at there because fueling as she is is happy. So, um, And then, uh, yeah, I, I again, clutch and intercoolers limiting factors here. Um, touch wood, hopefully nothing else goes wrong. But, yeah, let's get her strapped down and see where we're at. It's probably going to get hot in here, so I'll, uh, I've got my jumper off. We're all good to go now, strapped up. And uh, I'm going to go on my gauge page and set it all up and then go for a pull. for a wee bit more but I'm not sure if I bother uh, because I'm just fucking gearboxes then so right, 
task now is for basically putting that engine into this wee car. Just take the old one out if she can maybe see her in the corner there. So yeah, I'm just going to strip it down and uh, pull the engine out and stick it in this wee feasty. Sorted. New one, old one. Try and squeeze it in there. And there we have it, which is in ZX12, all wired up, good to go. So, I'm going to tidy up the mess and heat up the road. This time I'm heating up the road. <laughs> so there we have it, oh Christ, you're fucking dirty. There we have it. She survived, so... Just shy of 500 horse, which is nuts, on a standard clutch, uh, on a single fuel pump as well. Just a wee bit of coolant, and some screamer pipe marks. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. Wheel horsepower figures, so, reasonable. Here's the owner himself, Mr. Simon Sytek. Thanks Gavin, anytime. That's it. That's it. And uh, yeah, I'm sure we'll be back again to get some more cars, if not another one of mine, in the K20 next time. Some piston action. Looking forward to a bit of, bit of two-way trade exchange on yeah. the Honda mapping. Oh, that's it, that's true, yeah, that's true. <laughs> so, right, perfect. Right, guys, we'll catch you later on.